He looked at me with golden, light brown eyes. He had runway model cheekbones and the kind of chin that jutted from the bands of Roman centurion helmets. I had the strangest feeling that his gaze was stripping me, not just of my clothes, but to some invisible core. My muscles unreasonably tensed, ready to fight or flee, maybe both at the same time. His smooth bass voice rolled across my skin like a caress. I have many questions, none of which I have time to ask. Well, um, there's going to be another talk in, um, I glanced at my watch, even though I knew precisely when the next talk would be. About an hour? Damn it. Why had I made that sound like a question? The corner of those full lips quirked up into a smile. Will you be leading it? No. A shame. He turned, looked over his shoulder, and nodded at me. I enjoyed listening to you. Chapter Two